Hi, I'm Steve Carell. And I'm Kristen Wiig. And today, we are going to look back at our favorite moments from the Despicable Me movies. No, I'm so excited. In 78 seconds. What? Why 78 seconds? Read your contract. Let's go. In the original Despicable Me, we meet Gru, the world's greatest supervillain. We are going to steal! Demo! But then, Gru's heart is stolen, not by Vector, but three adorable girls. You don't love me! I have that movie one. Let's get to my part. Hi. In Despicable Me 2, Gru is now the world's best dad. Never get older. So, there he is, up to no good, and bam, Lucy comes along and kidnaps well, him. Well, I mean, she has her reasons. Yeah. Lucy recruits Gru into the anti-villain league, and they work together to save the world. You're gonna be a spy? That's right, baby! Also, all the minions turn evil, but we fix that. Oh, the power of love and a good lipstick taste. Then, Gru's back to being a kid, and there's a T-Rex. Sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. That's the Minion movies. Forget it. Let's just move on. Go, okay, go. In Despicable Me 3, Gru, Lucy, and the kids are now a family. When Gru finds out that he has an identical twin brother. Drew, a cuter version of Gru. He does. He has great hair. Yeah. <laughs> okay, on to Despicable Me 4. Okay, now Gru and Lucy are the proud parents of a new baby Gru Jr. who just hates his dad. And Gru's old rivalry with the villain Maxime Lamal causes the whole family to have to go into hiding. I'm coming for my revenge, Gru. <laughs> In an undercover family vacation, they get new identities, new neighbors, and even the minions get an upgrade. Oh yeah, the mega minions, those crazy guys. <laughs> then what happens? Well, you'll have to go see Despicable Me 4 when it hits theaters, July 3rd. Whoo, we made it. 78 seconds flat. Right on the nose. <laughs> Not even close. Oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>